Alrighty, my friends, Terry here, Brainy Nerd Tutor, and we're going to use the Debye law to calculate the molar entropy of a, sub of a substance. And this is our equation for molar entropy. We've seen this many, many times in this series here. And this Debye law or T3 law or Debye extrapolation, whatever you want to call it, is this right here. It says that the heat capacity of a substance is equal to a constant times temperature cubed. And this is valid for temperatures under or up to maximum of 15 Kelvin here. Now there's a lot of theory on this law, but we're not going to get into that. We're simply just going to calculate the molar entropy. Our practice problem here is calculate the entropy for silver at 5 Kelvin and 10 Kelvin. If it follows the Debye law, heat capacity at 5 Kelvin is 0.43 joules per Kelvin per mole. Now we can do this at 5 Kelvin quite easily. And we can simply just plug that into our equation. 0 to 5, the integral of CPM over T dt. This is our, our uh, calculation to calculate molar entropy. And we can literally plug this in if we want, uh, but I'm not going to yet. I'm going to plug in what CPM is using the approximation. And using the Debye law, CPM is AT cubed. That's this here. So this is this heat capacity here, AT, the approximation. Dt. And there's a reason I'm doing that. So A is a constant, so that comes out of the integral. T cubed divided by T is just T squared. So now we're just taking the integral of from 0 to 5 of T squared dt. And if we do this integral, this is the reverse power rule or the anti-power rule, whatever you want to call it. It's A times T cubed over 3 from 0 to 5. And if we're looking at the change from zero, that's just zero here. So it's really just equal to a t cubed over three at five Kelvin. At t equals five Kelvin. We'll write it there. And a t cubed, that's our CPM here. So it's literally equal to CPM, which is 0 0.43 joules per Kelvin mole divided by 3. So we'll plug that into our calculator it is 0.43 divided by 3. 0.143. 143 joules per Kelvin mole. So that's our molar entropy at 5 Kelvin. Now to get 10 Kelvin, we don't know what the heat capacity is and we don't know the A. So we need to calculate the A first. So we'll say at 10 Kelvin, we need to calculate the A. So heat capacity, molar heat capacity is equal to AT cubed. And at 5 Kelvin, it's 0 0.43 joules per mole Kelvin equals A times 5 cubed, because that's the value at, at 5 Kelvin. So A is equal to 0.43 divided by 5 to the power of 3 is... 0 0.0044, so A is 0 .00, 0 0.00344, and our units are joules per mole Kelvin to the fourth. Now we know A, we can calculate the molar entropy at 10 Kelvin using our handy dandy formula here, 0 to 10 of A T cubed over T dt, because this is our CPM here. At 10 Kelvin, we, we can now plug that in. So I'll, I'll pull A out of the integral. That's just 0 0.00344 joules per mole Kelvin to the fourth. And the integral of T squared from 0 to 10 Kelvin dt. Close my brackets here. And that's the same as this here. So we're going to do the integral. It's going to be T cubed from 10 from 0 to 10 rather than 0 to 5. So that's just going to equal our A, which is 0 0.00344 joules per mole Kelvin times 10 Kelvin cubed, which is 1,000. So we're just moving this over 1,000. 1, 2, 3. So 3.44 joules per mole Kelvin. So our entropy at 10 Kelvin. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.